Welcome to Electron Line. Now we have something that's very unique for parametric equations and something that without parametric equations would be very difficult to analyze and to find equations for to describe the positions of x and y. So what we have here is we have what we call a rolling wheel and if we take a point on the rolling wheel, let's say the wheel is right here, so that the bottom of the wheel is at the origin, the xy origin right here, and then the wheel starts rolling and we keep track of where that point is that started at the origin, you can see that the point on the circle, as it's rolling from left to right, that point will make this particular shape that's indicated by this curve right here. And this curve is called a cycloid. It keeps track of a position on the edge of a circle as it's rolling or of a wheel that's rolling or like let's say a tire of a car. And so if you want to express the xy position on that wheel as the wheel is rotating or rolling along the, the a flat or horizontal road like this, the equations are x equals r, r being the radius of the wheel, times t minus the sine of t. And for the y position, it's r times 1 minus the cosine of t. Now, if we expand this out, we end up with the value for x. We get rt minus r times the sine of t. Now, rt represents the distance traveled by the center, which is also equal to the arc length along the wheel or the tire. So the distance from there to there, which would be the arc length, if we draw an angle right here, of course, that would be the angle. Or if we draw a line from there to there and a line from there to there, this would be the angle, and so the distance traveled by the center equals the distance along the edge of the wheel from where it's touching the ground to where the point is when it started over here. So this is the distance along the wheel, which is also equal to the distance right here, RT, that the center of the wheel has traveled. But the x position is defined by the distance traveled by the center minus R times the sine of T, and this is the adjustment to the spot on the edge. So for example, this distance right here from where the center is in the, on the x-axis, reference to the x-axis, and where the spot on the wheel is, this distance is r sine theta, and obviously this has to be subtracted from this distance to represent the x point or the x coordinate of the point on the wheel that started at the origin. So that means that this distance right here, away from the origin, is going to be equal to RT, the distance traveled by the center, minus R sine theta, the adjustment we need here. We subtract this distance from this distance to get this distance, which is the X coordinate of that spot on the wheel. We do the same for the Y coordinate, but here the function is a little bit different. Y equals R times 1 minus the cosine of T. So what that means is that we first take the height right here, the height will always be the same, will be 1r above the x-axis, but then we add or subtract the cosine of t. In this case, we subtract minus the cosine of t, which is this distance here, to get the y coordinate at that point. Now, to show how that works is, let's say that the angle is pi, so the wheel has turned through a half a turn. So that means that the point will now be at the very top right here, and then if we plug that value in for the parametric variable t, t equals pi, then x becomes r pi minus r times the sine of pi. Now the sine of pi is zero, so this term disappears. That means that the x position, r pi, is exactly the same as the center position right here of the wheel. You can see that the edge on the, on the wheel here that used to be at the origin is right above the center, and so therefore the distance traveled by the center equals the, the horizontal distance of that point on the wheel. For the y value, Notice that it's equal to r minus r times the cosine of pi. Now the cosine of pi is equal to negative 1, so it becomes r minus a minus r, or 2r. That means the point on the wheel is now twice the distance from the, from the x-axis to the center circle, so 2r to the point at the very top here. You can see that this then repeats, and these are indeed the two parametric equations that describe the function we're looking at, which is called the cycloid, or the function created by the edge of a wheel as a wheel is rotating on a horizontal axis. So you can see the parametric equations are very useful in the case of illustrating a cycloid. That's how it's done.